This video is actually like harder to make than I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna dive right into it because I've been sitting here forever. <laughs> What I wanted to discuss is your guys' concerns and questions that you've been having for a very long time about Jesse and I, why we broke up, if we're getting back together, and since we made the breakup video a very long time ago, we haven't stopped seeing these kinds of comments from you guys on every single platform of social media. I think it's just important to address it. You guys keep asking, when are we gonna get back together? Why did you guys break up? Was it just a break? I miss the old vlogs. I miss you guys together and I want you together. And I know you guys want us together, but it, it's not like that anymore. Before I move further, I also wanna say, I did talk to Jesse before making this video and he was 100% okay with me doing it. He feels like maybe it's necessary to address this as well because it's been something that you guys have not stopped talking about. And there's gonna be a very small portion of you who are like, oh, you just wanna milk the breakup. Absolutely not. This isn't comfortable for me to sit here and talk about this stuff, to be honest with you. And I don't have to if I don't want to. And I thought about it because the other day I, I actually got a tweet from somebody that said, why don't you ever post about your struggles? I think many people would benefit from hearing how you have overcome sadness and loss. I thought to myself at that moment, I have talked about it. I've dealt with a breakup in the public eye of millions and millions of people. And then I thought more to myself over the next couple days and I was like, you know what? Jesse and I have not really discussed it with you guys. We kind of just like made the video. We slowly progressed to making videos on our own and we never really addressed it. And you guys still don't understand. Overall, Jesse and I had a very good relationship. There wasn't really anything wrong with it, to be honest with you. And that's why it seems so confusing to many of you. Because when you watch the vlogs, everything was great and we always were happy. Yes, we did have a very good relationship. And Jesse would never have anything bad to say about me as an individual or as a girlfriend. And in fact, there's many times that he tells me still that he doesn't think that he'll ever find somebody like me. I'm saying this because how does this make any sense, right? Well, Jesse and I actually broke up well before we told you. One of the main reasons why that was, was because Prank Academy, our show, the production that we had been working on for months and months and months, was about to be released. To me, it would have felt so weird to publicly break up and then be like, okay, by the way, here's our show that we made and have all these episodes rolling out. We're together and we're like a couple and happy and you know what I mean? It would have been really weird. So that was pretty much one of the reasons why we didn't say anything. And YouTube had nothing to do with this. They didn't make us hide this from you guys. We felt it was an obligation, even though it was not technically. I personally felt like it was an obligation to deliver to you as our viewers. That was a huge struggle for us. I'm not gonna lie, I was basically in denial of the fact that we broke up. In a sense, I feel like I was kind of holding on to Prank Academy as a way to not share that we broke up because I knew the second that we were gonna upload that video, it was gonna be extremely surreal. As you know, we were together for 10 years. So a 10 year relationship is a really long time to be with somebody, have to also share that in the public eye in front of millions and millions of people. Everybody had an opinion about it. It was very public, very viral, news was everywhere. And that alone, I had such a fear of that day coming because inside I was very 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 hurt and sad I didn't want to experience that day at, at all like I, I was dreading it let me back up a minute because I, I don't want it to sound like like oh I was so sad blah 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 what ultimately happened and I think what caused the breakup was when Jesse's mother passed away. It was not long after that that we broke up and it was very sad for both of us and obviously extremely devastating for Jesse. He kind of went through a mental and emotional state of mind where he just wanted to let go of everything in his life and that's kind of what happened. Like everything unraveled and crumbled and that's, that's what happened. As sad as it was and as strange as it felt, that's actually normal for people to do that and it's normal for people to experience these types of feelings and behaviors when they're grieving and dealing with a death, especially somebody close to them. They kind of, sometimes people just let go and push away everybody who was important that they loved in their life. I can't speak for Jesse, but I do know that this is definitely 
a big reason why it happened. And I feel like it was like a realization to him. What's happening in his life? What, what are, what's he doing? Aside from that, a lot of what was wrong in our relationship was only related to the vlogs, sadly, because that was what we did and we liked to do and we were doing it every single day. It kind of ruined our relationship to an extent. If you can imagine making a video and uploading it every single day for millions of people to watch, having people always have an opinion, always judge you, we didn't take that stuff personal at all. It was more so just knowing that we had an audience to appeal to, pretty much be a good influence, be happy happy because we knew that a lot of you who were coming to our videos were there for an escape of their own day to relieve their own stress, forget about what, what went wrong in their day. So we always tried to keep everything pretty positive for the most part. Behind the camera, it wasn't always positive. We would fight about like making videos, when we're filming, what we're filming, because it got very stressful. It really did, to be honest. And I think it wasn't healthy for us to be daily vlogging. We knew that we needed to escape from this at some point. When his mother passed away, that kind of was the end all. Not that it was ever meant to be like that. It just happened. It was just like this is done like we're like we can't do this anymore And then we stopped everything kind of unraveled and crumbled. It's a very crazy story Honestly, everybody in life goes through breakups Everybody in life will experience something like this, but not everybody deals with it the same Okay for me personally, I feel like a 10 year relationship coming to an end that was the most devastating part to me because we shared such a great bond together and it coming to an end was the hardest part. But on top of that, when you throw in how my whole life took a 360 spin and everything in my life changed at once, it was extremely hard for me. And you probably don't know this, but I fell into deep depression over everything that happened. I didn't know what my purpose in life was anymore. And I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to get behind the camera and talk to you guys and be myself again. It took me a really long time to get where I am today and to stand up and be confident, go out and not give a shit about anything and just live life. It took me a really long time. And I'm saying this because so many people go through things like this in life. You just have to be super strong and continue to live life. You're always gonna have ups and downs, ups and downs, but the highs are always better than the lows, obviously. You just have to get through that hump in life. I'm not angry at Jesse. I don't want any of you to think that I hate him. I don't hate him. I don't think I'll ever hate Jesse. He definitely doesn't hate me. It wasn't like a normal decision or way that a couple would break up after 10 years. I felt like I just didn't understand how everything happened. What was I gonna do? How, how, and I still don't know. Neither does Jesse. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And life is confusing in, in so many ways. It's just very difficult for everybody. And and everybody has their own reasons for life being difficult. I feel strange telling you this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. And the reason I'm saying this is because I know that there might be other people that can relate to this. But because I was in such a deep depression, I got so skinny. And it wasn't because I wasn't eating. I was eating. And I never thought that somebody could just lose so much weight just from being depressed. And I did. I was just skin and bones at some point. Like if you go back in vlogs, you'll see like my face was just like so skinny. I stayed in bed all day. I had to force myself to do anything. Ultimately, I think your question is, are you getting back together? Will you ever get back together? I would say no. I don't think we'll ever get back together at this point because I personally feel like I'm at a point of no return. I have my own reasons for feeling this way and that kind of stuff I'm not going to discuss because it doesn't pertain to any of the vlogs that were prior to the breakup. I want you guys to know that because you seem like you have been waiting for either an answer or something to happen. I'm sorry for all of you who feel so sad by us not being together and I know it was a huge part of your lives too because you would watch us every single day. You felt such a bond with us. I genuinely feel bad for you guys. Of course I still care about Jesse. Jesse still cares about 
about me. We still talk from time to time. Everything is fine between us. There's nothing wrong. We don't hate each other. That should make you guys feel better that we're on good terms, that we get along. I feel like if we ever needed each other for something, we would probably be there for each other. Also, you guys wanna know, will we ever film anything together? We may, I don't know, but there's a possibility of that happening. So I hope that that answered some of your questions, actually almost all of your questions, cleared the air so that we don't have to see this in the comment section anymore because that's all you guys ever talk about and it's not the same. Hey, let's try and switch up the type of conversation. I know you're gonna obviously have a lot of you're gonna have stuff to say in the comments which is fine on this video because you probably want to talk and chat about it but if you want to change the subject a little bit and you want to tell me in the comments what you would like to see on this channel from me let me know and I'd love to read it if you're sad that there's not there's no more Jesse and Gina vlogs I understand but they're not gonna be like that anymore I moved past it Jesse moved past it and now we just need you guys to. So if you could just support us as individuals now, we would really appreciate it. Aside from all the information that I gave you in this video, the note that I want you to take with you is that everybody goes through struggles in life. There's many different ways to deal with it, but get through it, you can do it, stay strong, and you'll come out of it a better person. I love you guys so much. That's all I can ask from you guys. And once again, I love you so much. Thanks for all the support for all these years. I love you. <clears throat> Jeez, I gotta clear my throat. <clears> throat> I hate when that happens. <clears throat> Alright, I love you guys. Bye. Peace on the streets. Sun. I've been rocking, I've been rolling. Mama told me you're not a kid, I cannot hold you.